بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى has created this insan for an objective the manba and the foundation بنياد استشهاد على إن في الجسد مضغة in the body there is a piece of flesh إذا صلحت صلح الجسد كله if this piece of flesh is reformed the body will be reformed the body will be reformed the amal of the ummah will be reformed if the amal of the ummah is reformed then decisions in the asman will be favorable wa idha fasadat fasad al jasad kullu and if this piece of flesh is corrupt then the actions that emanate from this will be corrupt and bad corrupt disastrous decisions come from the asman is mentioned about the maqula and statement of Hazrat Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu al qalb malik that the heart is the king wal aba junuduhu and the organs of the body are its army fa idha qab al malik qabat junuduhu if the king the heart is correct if the heart is reformed then the army the rest of the body will be fortunate wa idha khabutha al malik and if this heart this king is corrupt then his followers his army his populace will also be corrupt so we need to make effort on this heart malana yusuf akhlal is to say ye dil ye dil rabbul alamin ka maskan hai this heart remember this heart is the house is the residence of allah when we get in visitors then normally we clean the house somebody is coming somebody important is coming we clean the house we make sure that everything is presentable if we want allah to come into this heart then we need to make this heart presentable also we need to remove this nafaki this impurity of ghayr allah no matter how good any water is even if it sums up and one drop of urine falls inside no one will drink it why because it's nafaki it is impurity to purify this heart so that 100% we have allah there is no nafaki no impurity of ghayr allah that effort needs to be made but this heart to get to this heart this four roads the roads of the eye the ears what we listen what we see the tongue what we speak and the mind what we ponder on even if three avenues are pure but one avenue is contaminated that will affect the heart like a room that is fully air conditioned but one window is open the air conditioner will not work properly it won't get cool enough a person has a nice expensive car three tires are filled with air but one is a puncture it's not going to help why he needs four avenues all four tires to be functional properly likewise if we have a stream and the stream is coming to a central reservoir all three streams are pure but one stream is contaminated it will contaminate the entire reservoir a house we have security on all the doors except one we left the door open it's not going to help we need to protect each avenue we need to make sure 
that we have a security guard on our speaking, on our listening, on our seeing, on our thinking. A person can be driving a car, but three minutes is concentrating, one minute is negligence, there's a risk for his life and everybody else's life. So we can be particular about three avenues, but one avenue will leave it a moment of ghafla and negligence. Like the Mashaik say, that one second of negligence can wipe out a person completely. When a person by mistake looks at a namaharam female, then that is ma'af, but that is by mistake, and he won't go, la taqrabu zina, won't go to the places where his eyes can go and deviate. But if it so happens, then the first gaze is ma'af, means immediately he will turn his gaze. But, Hazrat Mawlana Shah, Hakim Akhtar, Rahmatullah Alayhi, Nawar Allah Marqada, who used to say, that even in the first case, there's no sun. So by mistake, our gaze fell on something, and we turned away. He said the effect of that will remain in the person's heart. The repercussions will follow. And likewise, a person's protected this gaze, he'll get such a new which cannot be replaced. Malana usually you say a person's counting money, he makes a profit, he's counting his money. The, the, the point is that how nazuk and how sensitive is every avenue needs to be protected. We cannot leave room or space and iota of space for it. So you say a person is counting money, as he's counting this money, his iman is decreasing. Every note that is getting happy that I made so much, on every moment of every note, his iman is decreasing. He says somebody sees a, a donkey and he, he thinks low of that. He says the mule was a means of conveyance for Anbiya, his iman is decreasing. مَنْ لَمْ يَقْدِرْ عَلَىٰ غَضِّ بَصَرِهِ لَمْ يَقْدِرْ عَلَىٰ حِفْزِ دِينِهِ Mashayif say, that person who cannot lower his gaze and protect his gaze, he will never be able to protect his deen. So like how a tree is planted and the tree is looked after. And when the tree grows, and it is big, and it is strong, now it will survive on its own. So we need to make so much effort, so much effort on our Iman, that the environment should not affect us at all. Our Tawajju, our Diyan shouldn't go to Ghayrullah at all. All these avenues, we should protect. If we look at a child that's in going shopping with the parents, then any need, where does your heart go to? Automatically, they'll think it needs to go to my father. Because you're in the marketplace with your father, in a room full with all aunts and family and relatives. When that small baby and the child is hungry, Nobody can pacify the child and automatically it will run to the mother. Like how that small child is in need of the mother and it knows and recognizes the mother. Like that in all conditions, our hearts should turn to Allah. Morana Yusuf used to say, Ek Yahudi doctor ki baat par Allah ke waadeh par itne yakin nahi. On the words of a non-Muslim doctor, we've got so much yakin on his words. 
when he prescribes so many tablets so many times a day, without doubt you will follow it. He said the words of a kafir is sufficient for us to obey him. But the words of Allah and his Rasul, we don't have the yaqeen so we don't follow. To such an extent that this doctor will say your hand has to be amputated. We will follow the doctor's instructions. He may be speaking lies, he may be speaking the truth, his equipment, his machines may be flawed. So the doctor may be flawed, his equipment may be flawed, but we will follow him and we will amputate our hand and have our hands cut. We will even be ready to go into open heart surgery and let our hearts be cut by the instructions of a doctor, but the words of Allah we are not ready to follow. So much I say, Amal me jo jan milega in 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 which strength a person will get through Amal for yakin ko ki ko ki wajas through the strength of our yakin. Effort needs to be made on this yakin, so we need to make an need an intention first that I need to make effort on this heart. I need to make effort on Allah. And when the yakin is correct, then like our puppets, we see puppets that are moving, but even a small child knows that those puppets don't move on their own. There's a string above that which is pulling those puppets. The movement is controlled by being above that. Allah subhanahu wa is giving Himself. And that's the imtihan that we come to realize that the one pulling the strings are from the asman and not on the zameen. Mala Umar Sahib Puri used to explain. He said, if we have a big tank, those are their tanks or reservoir in today's times, and we put one tap or five taps or ten taps. He said that amount of water, whichever, if it's a five thousand liter tank and we put five taps. Only 5,000 liters will come, not more. We put 10 taps, only 5,000 liters will come. He said, We should have yaqeen that this is from Allah. We are opening this tap and this tap and this tap and trying this avenue and looking for greener grass and greener pastures. He said, Remember, this is from Allah. Malana Yusma used to give an example. He said there was a, a villager who once went into the city and he was impressed by an invention in the city. So villagers in those days were used to having wells and they had to take a bucket and then draw the water out from underground. Here he's seen a tap, somebody opens the tap and as soon as they open the tap, water comes. So he was very elated. So this villager buys the tap. And he goes back to his village and he calls all the people from the village and neighboring villages. He says, I have something that will solve all your problems. And he mounts the tap onto the wall. And he tells everybody, I'm going to show you something now you've never seen before. And he opens the tap expecting the water to come out. But to his dismay, no water comes out. Because he never knew about the system behind it. The system controlling the tap. It is a reservoir. There's a system behind the tap. Malana Yusuf used to say, we are buying the taps. We are spending our time, our energies and resources on the tap and not the holic of the tap. There were three friends, they were traveling, they came to a pond. And they seen a jewel. So the first person said, I'm a very good swimmer. And he jumped in, he dived, he swam. Very exhausted and tired, he came back to the banks. They both laughed at him and said, you can't swim. The second one said, I'll teach you. But he jumped in, he swam, swam, swam. He also exhausted, came back to the bank. And the last one laughed at them and said, you fell down how to swim. I'll teach you how to swim. He jumped into the water, swam and swam and swam, exhausted and came back. All of them lying tired on the banks of the pond. 
He travel a passing by, sees them and says, What's wrong with you? You're looking so exhausted and tired. They showed him the gem in the water. He looked down, then he looked up. He went to the tree on the side, he climbed up the tree and got the jewel. Allah Jalla Jalalu has said, Wafis sama iris hukum wa ma tu adun. You are tiring yourself on the earth, morning and evening, a exodus on the highways, on the railways, on the airports, in the oceans, in the skies, in the dunya. You are tiring yourself for risks on this earth. But remember, Look at the heavens, look at the Khalik of this, and realize this comes from Allah. May Allah give us perfect making.